RRP. What exactly is that? What does it stand for? You know, I think that's a great question because recurrent respiratory papillomatosis, or RRP, is an HPV or human papillomavirus related problem. Uh, we're hearing a lot more about it because of HPV related to right. cervical cancers. Uh, also, it's become much more prevalent because of HPV related base of tongue and tonsil cancers. Uh, but in both the pediatric or child age group and the adult group, RRP are like little uh, cherry-like structures that grow all over the vocal cords. Mm. And they basically develop in the lining of the vocal cord. Anywhere there's a junction between two different types of skin, uh, right. one that goes into the windpipe and one that's on the vocal cords, they can develop. And what they can do in children is lead to voice problems. They also lead to airway obstruction. They actually can block off the, the breathing tube. So we see that now in, in small children, like one, two, three years old. But in adults, it creates hoarseness. Wow. Now, can something like RRP lead to cancer? There, it has been shown, yeah, it's a small risk, under 5%, but yes, it can lead to cancer. So we do biopsy them and check for cancer each time. Uh, and I have had patients that have converted. Uh, I think one thing when you think of RRP in adults, you have to think of the sexually transmitted disease. Okay, and now, and how common is RRP? It's not terribly common. I think HPV is far more common than right. RRP, but it is one manifestation of HPV. Mm -hmm. I think that's why it's really important that we consider a vaccination for uh, HPV, because uh, it does block that Absolutely. type. So it decreases your risk of cervical cancer, decreases your risk of tonsil and basic tongue cancers, and it decreases your risk of developing these benign tumors of the vocal cords, which can cause breathing or voicing problems.